Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. So today is 21st of December. Let's see the analysis of today. This is me and my relevant working experience. If you want to join our WhatsApp as well as our Telegram groups, you can join in by the links given in the description section below. Also, this is the content of today. First key kwa gatha se, greenwashing, climate change performance index 2024, Lok Sabha passing bills to replace British era criminal laws, basically saying about the CRPC, IPC and the Evidence Act. RBI tightening norms for lenders investing in AIF. So we'll understand what is an AIF and relevant prelims facts. First key asset that why the UK banned Air France Lutanse on Etihad ads over greenwashing claims. So if you understand Firstly, the term what is greenwashing? Greenwashing was to hoiki. So, see, this term that is greenwashing was first used in 1986 by whom? J. Wesselveld, who is was an American environmentalist as well as a researcher. So, greenwashing is a deceptive practice where companies or even governments exaggerate their actions and their impact on mitigating climate change often providing misleading information or making unverifiable claims. So now if I have to say about greenwashing. So greenwashing presents basically a false picture of the progress being made on the climate change front. So Manwe Bhaveza it was like Dumukhya Bostu. But it's something fraud that a fraud that has been done with respect to the environment. So Tanegabili Habe. And therefore, you can see that today, this type of greenwashing claims is pushing the world towards disaster. And also, in the same time, it is rewarding some countries with some of the irresponsible behavior. Okay. So therefore, today, if I have to say about some of the examples of greenwashing. So you can see the Volkswagen scandal in which German car company was found to have been cheating in emission testing of its supposedly green diesel vehicles was a case of greenwashing. But actually the product or basically the engine is not basically something who is associated with greenwashing or which is associated with protecting some of the hazardous chemicals as well as gases in the respective environment. Okay. So therefore today we are talking about this greenwashing. Okay, you can see there is a particular definition also the act of providing the public or investors with misleading or outright false information about the environment impact of a company's production and operation. So just to make it pass, directly a greenwashing attributes to low pelai, directly pass who is a key environmental test. Okay, and today therefore it's growing concern about how we can meet our net zero targets if such number of false claims can be seen worldwide. Okay, so even the airplanes which are basically uh, going ahead in polluting the respective uh, air or the environment because of the hazardous chemicals or gases that they produce. Okay, so therefore today if you have to talk about the initiatives which have been taken by green washing for green washing you can see that at the 27th conference of parties COP 27 United Nations Secretary General has declared zero tolerance for greenwashing you urging private corporations to rectify their practices it is killing the respective environment so the European Union approved the world's first green bond standards to combat greenwashing in October 2023 and therefore the European green bond level mandates transparency directing 85% of the funds to the EU sustainable activities so today what I can say about some of the laws in India related to greenwashing. So, yate amar ki se, Consumer Protection Act 2019 se. Okay. Then also, we can see Security and Exchange Board of India issuing guidelines for issuers of grand dip securities. Then Advertising Standards Council of India, ASCI, take a look monitor kore, ki monitor kore. Advertising practices and wholesome jurisdiction over allegations of greenwashing. The kun kun no polluted kora nai, kun kun nai pollute kori se, all these things are looked after by them. Okay, so therefore today if I have to say about greenwashing, we have to finally incorporate that the net zero emission targets, be it India, be it for the world. 
So, if we have to attain this, we have to use this number of numbers. And therefore, we should use such mechanisms which can really achieve the net zero status rather than these false mechanisms like greenwashing. Okay, so here we have discussed this topic and we have got some of the questions for you all. Please try to attempt these respective questions. Okay, to my last question in the comment section, what are carbon credits? Carbon credits ki hoi? Jot down in the comment section below. Okay. Next ki hai climate change performance index 2024 again related to climate or the environment. So recently we can see that India has secured seventh position in the recently released climate change performance index 2024. Underscoring its notable role and contribution in ongoing global efforts aimed at mitigating climate change. So, Aji Etukuna published Korise, it has been published by German Watch, the New Climate Institute, and the Climate Action Network International. Very, very important. Okay, key evaluate Kore. It evaluates four key categories key key greenhouse gas emission 40%, renewable energy 20%, energy use 20%, and climate policy 20%. So therefore, the first three overall positions therefore remains empty. Because no country performed well enough in all index categories to achieve an overall very high rate. So fourth spot kuna pale? Denmark. Fourth spot pale. Our Estonia kuna pale? Fifth place pale. And Philippines secured the sixth position. Okay. Muk kovala ke tumaloke. Ze in which part of the world is Estonia located? Okay. Estonia capital ki? Okay, and part of Estonia is located, you have to see me in the comment section below. Okay, so yate gute rankings kini dias first tinta spot kali ase. So judi aziami in a overall case this sound, then obviously India is basically at the fourth spot. Mojudi Denmark or Pakaun Kuru. But no, I mean a ranking to no kuru, zi had to one, two, three to kali ase, India is ranked at seventh spot. Okay, so Pakistan, Pakistan but still, oh yeah, 30. Anyways, no issue. So, uh, like this is particularly the uh, takeaways through which we can see that how we can achieve the protection of the climate change activities in the coming time and how we can control the earth's temperature by around 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius in the coming time. Okay, so here was to kinege yate ami like sabolage are yate arada was to India ami both importantly ami zanibolage. The India's report has emphasized that how India's reliance on coal, oil, and gas to meet its energy needs are slowly and slowly declining and how India is promoting its renewable sources of energy. So here kotha kinege yate bhalke kuase. Okay, so here was to kinege gute kinege moi likhito disu yate. Tumalke abar gute overall was to puha loge loge. You will get to know about fully. What is this particular thing associated with climate change? Okay, so yate kisuman Indian government initiatives as a national action plan on climate change or under so a good thing here solar mission ahe, water mission ahe, green India carne. So all these things directly comes under this particular thing. That's the last one ahe ki pancham red coal. Muk to malaga koi jason. What is pancham red coal? Okay, what is pancham red coal? Ki hoi bosu to to malaga muk comment section or kwa. Okay, chalo. Question details is available. Next, Lok Sabha passing bill to replace British era criminal laws. So, Kundira criminal laws, IPC, CRPC, Aru, Evidence Act. Indian Penal Code, Criminal Procedure Code, and the Evidence Act that we can see of the time of British. Okay, so we know that Indian Penal Code, Ketia Isle 1860. Okay, Code of Criminal Procedure, ETI Isle 1973, our Indian Evidence Act, ETI Isle 1872, very, very important. Okay, so, one thing that replace it, so, what is the name of the Bharatiya Nyai Sanheta Bell? What is the name of the Bharatiya Nyai Sanheta Bell? What is the name of the IPC? Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksa Sanheta Bell, what is the name of the CRPC? Okay, and what is the name of the Bharatiya Sankhya Saksha Bell? What is the name of the Bharatiya Sankhya Evidence Act? Okay, so my CRPC to 1973, it has been amended at during that period of time. Okay, but actually it's a uh, act which has been during the time of the Britishers. So, British time of 1898. 
tar pura ani pele ami 1973 amend korisu okay so what are this particular laws seeks to do so it will introduce changes dealing with the offenses of terrorism and act against the state also it will allow the registration of efir very very important thing efir to etia allow koribo through this particular bills okay also making electronic evidence is a form of primary proof that has been accepted under this respective bill okay tar uporot jehetu amar mob lynching or cases bahut bahi goisile tar karane eta separate criminal clause add kara goise in associated with the uh, like this electronic evidence uh, or in, in association with the mob lynching yate separately define kara goise je how it could be taken ar etu ekdom amar indiar history er first time hoyse mob lynching has been categorized as a crime tar uporot it would detail provisions and enhance punishment for the crimes against also the women children as well as the vulnerables so he can recently amit shah ki kole that is our home minister sahab ki kole that is the new laws have been framed keeping in mind three basic principles ar a basic principles to bahut 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 important ki ho karane because it has been said by our home minister ar any leaders whatever they has been saying this things becomes important for our exam point of view also so therefore the new laws have been framed keeping in mind three basic principles what are the those one is the civil liberty of citizens second is the human rights and last is the equality civil liberty human rights and equality very very important okay so the current british laws have no scope for justice and punishment is seen as justice so ei bostur pura ami ag bahi bole ami ei bostu to ana goisu anisu and therefore this is something which is very much crucial in the respective term of this particular government because no other government has tried to change or repeal the age old criminal laws like ipc crpc and the evidence act okay so this things becomes very important question ahi boy take my guarantee take my word that questions will directly gets framed from this particular bills ओके गुटे बस्तु किनी मय एटा लिखिथै दिसु तुमाल गाबार साइन बा देन अटेम्प्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन आल्सो नेक्स्ट आरबीआई टाइटेंस नॉर्म्स फॉर लेंडर इन्वेस्टिंग इन एआईएफ की होय तो सो रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज टाइटन नॉर्म्स फॉर लेंडर्स इन्वेस्टिंग इन व्हाट अल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड अल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड ओके सो इन अ मूव टू एम एट कर्विंग एवर ग्रीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेस लोन रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया टू यूज डायरेक्टेड बैंक नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल कंपनीज एंड अदर लेंडर्स नॉट टू इन्वेस्ट इन एनी स्कीम ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स व्हिच इज डाउनस्ट्रीम इन्वेस्टमेंट इन अ डेप्टर कंपनी ओके सो टुडे वी नीड्स टू हैव अ प्रॉपर एम टू एनहांस द ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड प्रिवेंट द मिसयूज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर नंबर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स लाइक एआईएफ सो दैट द स्टेट इज नॉट स्ट्रेस्ड अपॉन विद लोन्स offered by the financial institutions okay so now it ya tumaloke just yate eta kotha janibo lage je what is basically alternative investment fund iman kini janithwa that this aif refers to some of the privately pooled investment funds either from india or from foreign sources in the form of trust company body corporates or with various viable partnerships okay सो हेतु कारण ये बिल्कुल एक प्राइवेट फंड है, ओके? और वो दिस प्राइवेट फंड इज़ बेसिकली टर्न्ड इनटू इंडिया एंड इट इज़ बीन यूटिलाइज्ड इनटू इंडिया थ्रू सम फॉर्म ऑफ़ ट्रस्ट और कंपनी और थ्रू वेरियस कॉर्पोरेट बॉडीज़। और हेतु कारण है दिस एआईएफ्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू � then also category 3 kun laga hibo hegre funds okay and we have seen about the short term return funds e bla bostu ahi jay yate okay so e karane aji yate warning dise kune rbi okay so you should basically know about in deep about aif okay he gute bostu kini moyate bhalke discuss kore thori so tumaloke just ebar bhalke pohi sabo lage if anything you don't understand you can kindly contact us and also you can go ahead in your economic subjects in depth and also watch our youtube videos for economics where these things have been clearly discussed okay question dihoisu sailoba next three from assam win sahitya academy award kune kune pale 
डॉक्टर प्रणव ज्योति डेका ओके किहो कारण शॉर्ट स्टोरी ओके देन यू कैन सी अबाउट नंदेश्वर दोईमारी ऑफ उदालगुरी ओके सेम शॉर्ट स्टोरी कलेक्शन देन जुदाबीर राना हु हेल फ्रॉम दिग बॉय एंड हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड फॉर एसेज ऑफ नेपाली लोक का साहित्य एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्री पर्सन असाम हैज बैक थ्री पर्टिकुलर लाइक एवेट्स इन दिस साहित्य अकादमी अवार्ड सो साहित्य अकादमी अवार्ड की है इट एक्नोलेज सम ऑफ द एक्सेप्शनल कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड लैंग्वेज ओके एंड बेसिकली इट हैज बीन गिवन टू ट्वेंटी फोर लैंग्वेजेस ओके सो ट्वेंटी फोर लैंग्वेज कौन कटा लैंग्वेजेस पढ़े तुम लोग मूल कमेंट सेक्शन में क्या ओके so we know about that there is a schedule in our constitution also jod mention kora ase some of the respective languages so tar bahire jodi kiba language ase hetu mu mention kori diba because i have said 24 hetu eta ekdom importantly monot rakhiba okay tar uporot tumaluke eta aru bostu mu koi dia je if i say about sahitya academy yuva puraskar sahitya academy yuva puraskar 2023 कौन है पाई से साहित्य एकेडमी युवा पुरस्कार 2023 कौन है पाई से ये तुम लोग के मुख कमेंट सेक्शन और कुआ ओके नेक्स्ट समर एयर डिफेंस मिसाइल सिस्टम सो तो क्यों है तो इंडियन एयर फोर्स एस एक्सेसफुली टेस्ट फायर द समर एयर डिफेंस मिसाइल सिस्टम समर माने क्यों है सरफेस एयर मिसाइल फॉर एश्योर्ड रेटालिएशन और नेक्स्ट आईएनएस कोची सो इंडियन डिस्ट्रॉयर इंडियन नेवल शिप कोची रिसेंटली इवैक्यूएटेड वन ऑफ द 18 सेलर्स ऑन बोर्ड द हाईजेक कमर्शियल वेसल एमवी रुइन ऑफ द कोस्ट ऑफ सोमालिया वी नो अबाउट सोमालिया सोमालिया इज रिडन विद पायरेट्स ओके सो इट्स द सेकंड शिप ऑफ द कोलकाता क्लास स्टेल्थ गाइडेड मिसाइल डिस्ट्रॉयर बिल्ड अंडर द कोड नेम प्रोजेक्ट 15 ए फ्रॉम द इंडियन नेवी ओके तुम्हारे मुख कुआ व्हाट इज प्रोजेक्ट 75 व्हाट इज प्रोजेक्ट 75 Tell me it in the comment sections. Yet another bostu khasi arase ki supersonic and long range Brahmos missile, surface to surface missile, yet written hoy thake. Very important. Okay. So this is all for today from my side. Thank you all.